Hey guys, I'm Captain Dark and this is my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play Part 7. In the last episode I made this uh, yeah, room, this new crafting and uh, production room. Um, now it's time to set up some gems and more. Let's see, let's make sure all these gems I have get cut by multiple ones. Uh, CRA is the quick key combination for this, CRA, and uh, that'll at least cut all the gems I've found. Um, also, I've been working on moving my smithing all the way inside here. I've prepared and dug some channels on this level, which uh, I've put some fortifications in front of too, as you can see. And now, I only need to channel out these last couple of tiles. Bam, 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 bam. And, yeah, the, the, uh, the magma lava will go into my fortress and uh, then my doors won't have to craft outside anymore. I think I, I thought, yeah, why not put it here since the moat's all around it anyway. Um, now to have my dwarves come in. Oh, and also I should make some floors. Since I probably can't, yeah, can't build here at the moment, so I'll need to build floors above these and then close up the wall. Um, so, you know what? I'll make the floors out of wood, since it'll probably be, remo be removed later. Building wood over the lava, that's not a good idea, but nah, these things never burn. Wood never burns in like that in the Dwarf Fortress. Um, most, there's hardly anything which can be destroyed by uh, the lava, just rocks and yeah, loose-lying items. Right, that's the things you build do not get destroyed, like walls and yeah, you can build all the walls and fortifications you want, they will never melt. But if there's any loose items on the ground, they will melt. That's the idea with magma. Um, so once these are placed, then I can finish up this wall and build some more forging whatnots in here. Uh, well, I can start with a few. Let's build a magma furnace. Um, let's see how do I do this. Yeah, these bottom ones for example, will be for normal smithing. The top ones will be for glass forging. Um, if I place three here, then I'll make this. Um, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, that will completely fill up. Okay, that's nice. That's great, actually. Um, the glass forgers, should I make them out of another color? I don't think I have any green at the moment. Not at the moment, but I can make some glass blocks. This guy is making green glass discs forever now. Um, now you need to make some blocks, which should be in here somewhere. Um, just raw green glass. Um, oh, just blocks. There we go. I'll make all the glass furn furnaces out of glass. Which is, yeah, green glass, which is pretty fitting. Um, this back to normal. Also, let's just remove this order and add the same order at the bottom again. Not corkscrews, but serrated discs. So, he'll make that. Um, also, let's make sure these guys are still collecting sand. Um, anything else I can smelt? Not really. Tetrahedrite. Do I have still have some metal? Still some bronze. Okay, let's use that bronze to maybe make some armor, furniture. We'll need some chains. Always need some chains. Let's make a couple of chains. Um, yeah, and. Let's see anything else we need from out of bronze. It's not much at the moment. A um, couple of bins? Nah. 
You know what? I'll make some bronze statues to look nice. Yeah. Place one every at every entrance. Um, those guys will work now. The magma should be filling up too. And these little things should be placed. Oh, this one hasn't even been dug out yet. Um, okay, that's it for the magma here. Um, oh, I also made this play the hotkey to make things faster. These guys are cutting up normally. How are the kitties doing? They uh, are adorable and uh, they're still not doing anything. Well, there's usually more evil cave monsters like that giant bat uh, from the first episode, but nothing yet. Um, oh yeah, here I'm going to make some noble rooms with some new designs. Like uh, this room will be the entrance room, here will be a bedroom, or this will be probably the bedroom, this will be uh, a study and a dining uh, dining room for every, for every noble. Four should be enough in the beginning, it's probably already too much. Um, and trying some zoom room designs guys. <laughs> Let's see if you guys like this. Um, Let's see. Those will dug further. Uh, these guys are cleaning themselves and... Oh yeah, this dinghy level. Looks like I found quite some tetrahedrite. Uh, yeah. But there's more around. Let's also dig that out. Everything I missed earlier will just now be connected. Looks like I completely went wrong there, but there was some stuff in it. This will probably connect it too. This might go even further. And just paint the our tiles. It looks like a mess, but I'll probably put my uh, um, my coffins and my uh, my dead dwarves in here. I think they'd like to 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 live in old mines or to um, have their coffin in an old mine. But well, the dwarves will probably like that. Um, these guys are still digging. This is still being worked on, and maybe I shouldn't have taken wood because I don't have that much carpenters. Oh, this one carpenter is sleeping instead of placing things like he should be. Um, how are things going up here? Oh yeah, this was going to be special. I want to make all the levers to open all the gates here, and let's give them different colors too. Um, Let's see, I have red and stuff like Rielgar. Okay, red for the top. This sign is going to be blue. Uh, microcline. This sign is yellow. Orthoclaws. Top is red, yellow, blue, and... Need some green glass. <laughs> uh, and, well, it's not like a Super Nintendo logo from the old, old series, but... Something to put them apart. Um, brown is a color. Okay, there we go. Uh, that will be filled in, and afterwards that's done, I'll build uh, levers on top of that and link those to the bridges so everything can be pulled up pretty rather quickly. Um, so this is filling slowly. Um, okay. Things are starting to, to ramp up, and the badger sow is no longer enraged. Our things going outside and with the military, by the way. That's interesting. Um, how do we check the military? We'll just check one of the squad dwarves. 1-1. Uh, one, one. He's leading a dodging demonstration. Oh, oh yeah, I moved him outside too, since there's a couple of tiles over here. And outside here, it's light. So the one that gave a climatization, or however you pronounce that. Um, yeah, they can they can fight here. That'll work. And train. And things here need to be finished. But they probably oh they didn't even stop that middle one. Red, green, red, yellow, brown, blue. Well, that works. 
So I'll probably need some more red stones if I want to make some more red um, looks around my castle. Let's see if I can find some more of that Ryogar stone. Oh, this is redstone, what's this? Ryogar, 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 whatever. Um, not much, but let's just dig a bit out. With small gems, the post like that, I just like to yeah, go around it to be sure that there isn't anything else. Because these can't be too big. While I'm at it, let's dig out these two. Um, let's find some more gem deposits maybe. This level. Yeah. Because I'll need more gems in the future too. We got that to be safe. Here too. This was to be boring to watch. Uh, the military. <laughs> I was going to look at that. That's Dwarf Fortress going from this to that and back again and back again and well, you know. Um, and especially me. Ah, this place is almost getting finished. Um, the military. How are their skills nowadays? Let's just look at them with uh, V. And then G, a dabbling hammer dwarf, a skilled swords dwarf, a dabbling axe dwarf, axe dwarf, dabbling, dabbling, dabbling. One, yeah, skilled swords dwarf. And a normal novice marks dwarf. Um, well, let's just get those guys work. Oh, and let's set up the levers. This is finally done. The top, top one. Um, oh, one moment. Okay, there we go. Um, let's make the lever out of mechanisms which are um, not improved. probably can choose the color of the lever itself with this, but oh well. Um, let's just go for marble then. wonder if you can even see the tile beneath it like this. Probably not. Well, we'll see. First the levers need to be rebuilt, then we'll need to be hooked up to the bridges. And then I'll need to make more weapon traps and things to make my fortress more safe. Um, how are my traps doing? Let's see how many uh, weapons I have if I build a weapon trap. Got 12 green discs. That's not that much. And a couple of picks and crossbows. Ooh, looks like I don't have that much weapons at all. Maybe I should make a couple more for my military. Still have some bronze. Um, you're almost done with the bronze chains. Um, Okay, well let's add some bronze hammers. Since I had a hammer dwarf and some swords and why not some axe too? Yeah, that's what the weapons they had. They should have some extras soon. Um, is this done yet? I'd like to fill this up in one go, but the game doesn't want to, it seems. Where is my marble? At the bottom. Okay. Fill up all these holes so nothing can get into the smithing room and none of the right ones are dig dug out. Um, how's the green glass blocks doing? They're coming. So one should be done. Let's see if I can make a. Uh, yeah glass furnace with that, and I can. Okay. Um, yeah, these levels um, should start moving the ducks inside too, and chickens, but... Um, this level is done. But this will need far more furniture storage and more good storage too. 
So now why not why not dig these out areas out already? Since these are the big stockpiles usually. Um more than enough to do for my dwarves now. And uh I think I've shown everything too. Oh, there is more migrants. What do I need to do? I need to fill up some bedrooms too and yeah, oh, I haven't made these bedrooms yet. Um, I think I'll pause the video for a second anyway. See you guys in a second. Oh, and we have another possession. Um, the administrator's been possessed. Oh dear. Well, let's see. Hopefully he will actually build his stuff. It will be from a crafter's workshop. Um, He's still moving, so okay. Make some extra rocks too, I think. Well, let's just leave him be. He'll. Um, he has begun a mysterious construction. Yes. All right, that will be fine. Um, almost this part of the furniture stockpile uh, largening is done too. Um, so these guys are still the. Still doing everything. Do I even have jewelers? Um, let's check. Let's take the dwarf therapist. I'm at 54, 45 dwarves, even. 45? <laughs> 54, yeah. First of all, right the first time. Um, let's see, this guy he knows a lot of things. Uh, let's take a look at the interesting dwarves. Are there any miners in here? No. There's a crossbow maker and a carpenter. You know, I could use one extra carp carpenter. Uh, let's let you do that. Um, other interesting dwarves. Small animal section is not interesting. No one with any forging skills. Um, glass making. Nope. There's a big weaver and a leather worker. Well, that work is nice. Um, um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any gem cutters or gem setters. So this one guy, Smith One, yeah, Smith One will not be doing any glass work anymore. Um, this guy doesn't have a name. He's also a uh, he's probably one of the starting dwarves, but he's always a, also a carpenter, and that's the problem. Okay, well, let make some new jewelers. Let's see. This guy has some skill. Doesn't have a name. He's a wood burner. Yeah, he will be my new gem setting dwarf. Um, now. I need another one, a couple of random dwarves to cut gems. Cutting gems is not all that important, important from what I can tell. And skills doesn't help much with it either, but I could be wrong, but that's as far as I know. Um, so you usually make tons of money with it anyway. Um, one of these guys, what are you, a shearing guy? You can be a gem cutter from now on, and this top guy has nothing. Well, he's a good leader. Um, no. How about this crossbow making guy? He's a bowyer and a clothier. Yeah, won't really need that. Um, that's this one. Now my gem should be taken care of. Um, yeah. Okay. Also, I need to think about my food production. This is okay and it will probably last, but it could be even more optimized. And that's probably also something to do in the next episode. I try and split all the, the parts of food production. And Give them nice little stockpiles. Um, let's see. 
this one over here. You're almost done with rock doors. Well, now you can finally remove that place. Um, and you know what? Uh, we'll need a lot of doors in the future, so let's make a lot of doors. And with a lot, I mean a lot. Since all, well, which is not really a problem since my furnace shock pile is almost done. Um, yeah. Let's just let them do that, and uh, well, things are everywhere are going fine. Yeah, well, not much left to do in this episode. This, this will by be finally be finished. Yay! Once, uh, oh, once this is done, uh, well, it was really fast. It, what was it? A crown. A crown with highest quality. It's crusted with gold opal, bronze, hanging rings of rhyolite, and menses with spike of Galena. Wow. Galena? I don't know. Um, no time to to double think about that. Uh, let's dump all this rock, except the red ones. But I'll do that the other way around. Um, let's see. Oh, no, I can't really tell if what which one is red and which is not. Uh, these should be removed. And this one. Okay. Uh, now I can make a gigantic furniture stockpile. Yeah, um, you know what? I'll make multiple furniture stockpiles. No, I'll make a gigantic one since it doesn't need to have sandbags in it. So I'll remove this stockpile first. Remove it, make a new furniture stockpile. And let me go all the way over there. Then change the settings. You should not have sandbags. Um, rest should be fine. Okay. Lots more work for my dwarves, and yeah. That'll dig out. Um, well, 22 minutes to this video has been long enough to. Um, next episode, I'll try and focus my food production some more. Get oh, what happened here? <laughs> I built some cages, but looks like some of my dwarves ended up ended up in the cages. Oh, I didn't even have a, don't even have an animal stockpile yet. Um, let's see. No room here yet. Um, although, no, nah, I want my animal stock so I'll build that one outside. You know, this corner, you know, this corner is great for an animal stock pile. There we go. Um, that's where all the cages and stuff like that get brought, and that should work. There, see, these are all my green cages. I hope these other doors will be freed. Yes, they are already. And yeah, building some cage traps here so things uh, can't get in that easily easily anymore. Oh yeah, I need to hey, hook up the bridges. Um, okay, I'll do that as the last one. Thing, last, very last thing of this video. First, I up this bridge and I'll need way more mechanisms. You know what? Fuck it, I'll do that off screen. Um, yeah, this video has gone long enough. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later um, in the next video. <laughs> really can't end these videos. I'm terrible at it, but uh, I'm sure you've noticed. Bye, guys.